the push. You could actually walk down to the Rialto Cinema. The Rialto Cinema was a very unusual cinema too because it's a, it was quite a big cinema. And in the afternoon, you could go down the lane in, 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 in the Rialto Cinema. And when you walked down the, the lane, it was very bleak. And there was a little sort of almost like a, a cavern entrance to it. it. looked like a cave because it was curved. And inside that there was a little window where you could buy a cheap seat in the Rialto Cinema. So we always went down, of course, in the afternoon because it was cheap to go down there and, and get in through this door. Uh, and there was a famous shop beside it. They used to sell ice cream. They used to make their own ice cream, Cafolas. And you'd look forward to going down there and buying your little ice cream. Wait until you got down because you wouldn't eat it until you got into the cinema when it started to melt. It was really nice then when it started to melt. <laughs> My older sisters, yeah. And if we didn't get into the Rialto, they turned to me and say, you don't say a word. <laughs> so we'd be heading for the Leinster. <laughs> or we'd cross over. And I used to be, feel really strange because we used to cross over the bridge if we didn't get into the Leinster, because these cinemas were, were packed. If we didn't get into the Leinster, we used to cross down by... Uh, which is now where the Lewis goes, and we cross over the metal bridge. It was a, a metal bridge across the canal, and that brought you down into uh, James's Street to the Lyric. I mean, even as a kid, I was afraid of going to the Lyric. But uh, they were great days, eh? I must say. 